Today, our first recipe is going to be lemon, lemon bellinis. So bellinis, you might be wondering, what are they? Well, they're kind of like pancakes, except, that, except they have yeast in them, and it's kind of a different flavor. And smaller. Yeah, mini pancakes with yeast. That's how he puts it. So, in our bellinis, we have... We have salt, one egg, a stick of butter. Very fattening. We don't use the whole stick. Yeah, but we don't use it. It's still fattening. Okay, so... Then we also have a lemon. Active yeast. This Dry. yeast is in fat. Then we have our milk. And, you know... That's it? Let's, Let's get, get started, started now. 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 Mm. Now. Well, it's time to get started on our bellini. So, we're going to mix the ingredients together in this large bowl. Let's get started. So, Sophie. I'll be doing gonna, dry ingredients. Yeah. So, like Sophie said, we're going to need one and a half, two thirds cups of flour. So, Sophie, you can get started on that. Yes. And I will also be sifting that with one teaspoon of salt. So While she does that, then I will be zesting a lemon, ninja style. You opened your zest a bit too far. <laughs> Mom, Sophie, I didn't open my zest. I opened my zest. Fern and socks. Let's get that oh, now. We're doing that in grammar, you know. Ers, est, ease, stuff like that. Cool. And you're doing fractions in school, aren't you? So this is yes. perfect for that, huh? Yes. Cooking. It's not just tasty, it's educational. <laughs> it's not just Okay. Da, da, da. Oh yeah. Why don't you just you can set the sifter into the bowl, sweetie. And then measure yourself and dump it. I almost yourself. put it in my mouth for some reason. Yeah. Do not do that, kids. No. Bad. So you're kids. <laughs> oh yeah. Or kids, not plural. Gar mom. Hey, we did we did plural stuff too before. Oh and just for the record, undead is an oxymoron. Oh. I don't know what's up with him and oxymorons, but he just doesn't like undead things. Mom keeps on saying like undead, and I keep on telling her it's an oxymoron, but. He had to like explain all this Alex, stuff that I don't care about. How much that's to me, I'm not sure, but the magical board right there says one teaspoon, so I think I should be good. That magical yeah. board? There's one teaspoon. It does magic. not exist to you. Yes. It actually does. Just the one well, it does, you know, but you can't see it. The one teaspoon measure is right there, Alex. Why don't you check it out and see Here. how much you have? I want a teaspoon. Wait, oh, one teaspoon. <laughs> Getting my tables and teas confused. It's the pedipoo, the pedipoo. <laughs> you gotta stick in my head. So if you could probably add the rest of the flour. You need more, a little more flour. That's it. Yeah. 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 Don't add that much flour. 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 Yeah. Don't I'm gonna get started with two cups of milk. There's the milk, and that has to be warm, so you can jam that into the microwave and keep it. For up. thirty seconds, so the chocolate jam. Yeah, thirty seconds should probably be good. Yes. You don't want it to be too hot. Let's see. Peppy, the With some salt, you know, you could just gotta put some salt on that <laughs> beak, you know, darling. So if we're talking about platypie. <laughs> hey, it's you're an oxymoron. Sophie, that's the correct plural. I don't care, you're an oxymoron for me. This episode of Two Kids featuring grammar. <laughs> no, 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 in math. This is really our yeast episode. Why don't you go heat up the milk? And the reason we're heating up the milk is because we're going to add yeast. Take and what does the worms help the yeast do, Alex? It's so fluffy. The yeast, when it eats the stuff, the yeast, when it eats the stuff, it produces a gas called carbon dioxide, and then that makes it all poofy and, you know, like bread with all the holes, so that's just the gas. And yeast like warm things. So when Sophie's done sifting that, she is going to add the yeast. You don't use a whole package of, of dry yeast. You just use one and a half yeah. teaspoons. Now I'll be gone for like two seconds. Hey, let's talk about Sophie while she's gone. Shut up. I know, I have scissors. Scissors. Do not get near me. Safety. Yay! If 
cakes of soaps, adding one and a half teaspoons of dry yeast. And she's actually one. Putting, using a half teaspoon measure, so she's putting in three, which equals one and a half. Two. And you know why? Because, like, that one is full of lemon zest. So it's yeah. not like. We actually have more, but it's just easier this way. Yeah. More measuring spoons. Okay. Three. So why don't we. There's an old woman on the back of this thing. Hi. We're going to stir in the milk now. And Alex, you heated it on the microwave for about 30 seconds, then another 30 seconds. Okay. That equals one minute, kids. Ooh. So now it's warm. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. Cool, cool. <laughs> All right, Sophie's stirring it in. Are you stirring, Soph? No, I'm stirring. We poured the milk in, so now we're going to mix all this stuff together, and then we're going to let it set it, sit aside. When we let it set aside, then we're going to let the yeast do its eating and gas emitting work until it doubles in size. So right. And while that's happening, we'll probably get our crepe batter together. Right, guys? Yeah. yeah. So, how about the zest? That goes in after it's doubled in size at the end, Alex, but thank you for zesting it early. So does the egg, at the very it's end, so the, egg, chunky. the zest and the butter go in. I must sheave my sister. Alright, so next up, we are going to make crepes. Now, crepes are kind of like blini, except for a couple major differences. First, they don't have yeast, so they're obviously not as puffy. And second, they're really big and flat, skinny, and thin, yeah. small, thin. Now, like I said, they don't have yeast, but they do require a lot of flipping, so let's get started. Now, so, it includes two eggs. Butter. Butter. And a, two, a teaspoon salt. And flour, milk, cup. <laughs> and that's it, so let's get started. These are pretty easy. You just mix everything up and the batter's ready to go. Start yes. mixing, shall I? So Alex, how much flour, uh, milk are you going to put in and flour? I'm going to put it. Okay, where's the mixing bowl? I'm going to put this? a cup of milk and a cup of flour. Yep, yeah, that's the mixing bowl we're using. Let's just start with the flour. And so if your butter needs to be melted, so why don't you zap that in the microwave for 30 seconds? 30 It might not need that long, so kind of keep an eye on it, okay? Yeah. Alright, I have my cup of flour. Alright, now let's get the milk out. Alex is so stealth with that milk. You could use the liquid measure too if you prefer. Mm. Mm. Too late now. Yeah, it's good. There we go. And here. The butter and milk here. Is a cup of milk. One cup of milk. Mm. Think about that. Alright, so now you can. Alex, there should be a whisk over there. Why don't you start whisking while Sophie pours in the mm. butter, her eggs, and her salt? The warm butter mixing with the cold milk. So if you can put your egg shells into that little butter bowl. Is it is the milk getting all? Or the butter getting all? So. Alright, now add your two eggs, babe. This is a bit for you, the eggs. The batter should be fairly thin. Right now it might be a little nope. thicker because you haven't added the eggs, but that's fine. You can pour it in there and then pour it in. You set your eggshells there. So if he's an egg cracking, now pour those eggs in. And now stir that up until it's a nice smooth consistency. Sometimes you just have to smash the eggs. We're going to finish doing this up, and then we're going to show you how to make the crepes and the baby. Alright, so now that the blini dough has risen, we are going to add the rest of the ingredients, including the zest. And then, we'll cook it up. Okay, now you can just start adding stuff.
stir it in. Add the egg. Egg. Fill it in fluffy. We've heated the pan, and then we've put the dough into these squeeze bottles. You don't have to, but it makes it a lot easier. So, let's make them. We'll show you how. So basically what you do is you just take and you squeeze like a little bit. We don't want them to be too big, so so. Just a little bit. Yep, just like that. They're like little mini pancakes. You can make a bunch of them. And then we'll let them cook until they're ready to flip, and we'll show you. Oh, I'm starting to get bubbly. This one's bubbly. Alright, so we are gonna finish these up. And, and then, then we've got some crepes to make, right, Alex and Phil? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're gonna make the crepes. So we have a battery. We have a batter here. And then. Here we have just the frying pan. We have it on medium high heat. And let's get started. So, okay, so let's see. First thing I'm gonna do butter is the butter pan. down the pan here. Now, I need Alex, could you grab that? Okay, just scoop that one of those scoops onto there so I can And start. how much is this? It's a quarter cup. All right, now Sophie's gonna be ready. There's a little pan technique that we use. So I'm going to pour this on and then Sophie's going to know. I'm going to call it the swirly. Go. Or the circly. You just try to swirl it around. Okay, so let's see it. So, so it's your swirling. The crepe batter. Just try to make go in a circle. Because, you know, crepes are in circles. Not my best, but it gets better. We just do this so that the crepe that. batter gets evenly spread out and so it gets thinner. Then when it's ready, what do you do? Be a flip it! Da -da. Is it time, Alex? A bit longer, not much though. Okay. And Sophie, I've seen that. No, you didn't. You did not. And then you just do a quick flip when it's lightly browned. Mm. There you go. And then we're gonna finish this up and then we're gonna Time for food transportation. I'm done with, now that we're done with our bellinis and grapes here, let's get started with food transportation. Now we have got all of our stuff ready and we are going to make our food transportation. So they're starting with the bellini, right guys? Yep. So for mine, you have we have some cut up strawberries with sugar on them and then we let them soak in. But you take one of the strawberries. So we're gonna put a, a few strawberries. Or just one. And since if you make the blueberries small, um, then you probably wanna cut them up more. So Okay, so Well Sophie's doing that. Then you put whipped cream on. Alex, well, she does. Well, Sophie finishes with creaming those up. Why don't you show us yours? Mine have blackberries and lemon curd on them. Which we made earlier. Yes. I'm not eating. <laughs> Sophie's not eating hers. So first, we're going to put a little. I don't have to, but I'm going to put a little thin layer of lemon curd down. Then put the blackberry on just to make it stick better. And you can use <laughs> other berries too. Well, here's how we made the lemon curd. First, we prepped our ingredients, zesting our lemon, separating our egg yolk, and squeezing our lemon juice. Then we headed on over to the counter, pouring in our sugar, mixing in our egg yolks, and whisking that together. 
Then we poured in our lemon juice, added our lemon zest, then brought it over the stove until it thickened, then added one tablespoon of butter at a time. Finally, we prep for refrigeration. Once everything's refrigerated, we'll be ready. Ta-da! So, and Alex is decorating his with a little bit on top. Squirt some over, and ta-da! You can like do a ring or something. We've done it with, with uh, raspberries as well. A little circle. You can put any fruit. You can do blueberries or bananas. All right, Alex, how it looked one up and show it to us. This one's kind of like the leaning tower of curds. Don't you, let me get a zoom in on that. Aww. How's it taste, babe? We shall find out. Can I eat another one? You sure can. Yay. All right, we're going to finish these up and then get, get our... um delicious crepes ready because we want to show you how to fancify those too, right guys? Yeah. Now it's time for the crepes. Ooh. Okay. So Sophie's doing the sweet version. Yes. I've got the savory one. Of course. Of course what, do, me. what are you using the sweet one, Sophie? Strawberries and whipped cream, just like the blinis. So. And we got the strawberries ready by cutting them up and, and adding sugar. sugar. Yep. So just put some strawberries in the middle. Can't like them in a row. Yep. And put a little bit of strawberry juice. Yeah, when you put the sugar on them, it's called macerating, and that lets the juices come out. Yep. Okay. Then. We add a little bit of whipped cream. Yeah. You add a bit of whipped cream, of course. That's She's now, you can make homemade whipped cream, which would be probably even more delicious, but we are not good at making whipped cream, so we just use it from a can. Fold it. Then, cream. And again, you could use whatever kind of berries you want for this. But soap like strawberries. And then we saved some strawberries when we were preparing for the top. Yeah. I don't know if this You could ending. probably add a little bit more whipped cream yep. at the bottom so you can see it better. And then Alex, um, let's move over here to Alex. Now we've gotten started on this. I'm Just going to try mine. The row of asparagus chopped up in the middle. Like a tack. <laughs> then we have ham here. And we just used deli. We just chopped it all up. We got it all ready. Um, we chopped up the asparagus and then I steamed it. Split it on the middle and then This is a this is this cheese sauce is um secrets. No, it's got uh gruyere mm. um shallots. It's just a basic white, white sauce. Um but it's super tasty. You can oh. use any kind of cheese sauce that you like. I'm gonna put a bit yeah. more than you probably should because I love this stuff. But. So yeah. how's your how's yours going there? Good. Are you inhaling it? I guess. <laughs> Just wrap this up. Let's try. I'm gonna grab a towel. Mm. So, Alex, do you like asparagus? <laughs> do you like ham? Not big on it. But you like these. Why do you think that is? Well, it's kind of like some a burrito almost in this sauce. Just they mix mm. together. And, mm. All right, we're gonna make a couple it's, more of these up, um, and then. Mm. We'll show with you everything we did today. So. Yep. So, from yeast to feast, let's eat. Today, during the show, we learned about yeast and all of its properties. And we even made our bellini, which have yeast in them. We learned about flipping, and our crepes and our yeast are great for practicing your flipping skills. And you learned how to decorate up some food and make it taste delicious. Now, while Sophie thinks we're all crazy, <laughs> we're going to finish up eating our tasty feast, and we hope you guys get in the kitchen together and whip up one of your own. Happy, Happy family, family cooking, cooking everyone. everyone. 
We hope you enjoyed the show today. For more information and recipes, please check us out online at www.twokidscooking.com. Thanks for coming and see you next time. Bye.